What's up, FB Clan? Today, we're gonna be reviewing these two gel blasters right here, the Splatterball brand. Let me just tell you right off the bat, these are the best gel blasters that I found in America so far. So forget about all those gel blasters from Amazon, forget about Surge. We're gonna be reviewing these one through 10 according to their accuracy, their pain level, and the distance that they fire. So let's go ahead and get into it. This target is water sensitive, so when you shoot this target, it shows you exactly where you're shooting at, and it changes color wherever you hit the target at all times. I'm gonna hang this on the fence, and we're gonna get to testing this bad boy. Unfortunately, I could only find this little tiny hammer right here. Accuracy test with splatterball gun number one. Wow, that thing is spicy. <laughs> really fun to shoot. You can hear it hitting the target and it just sounds pretty powerful. Okay, so basically I didn't miss one shot on this target here. It hit the target, which means you could easily hit a human from 20, 30, 40 feet away. I think you know what time it is, guys. Yeah, it's time for that pain test. And I'm gonna do the pain test without my hoodie on. Yes, that means bare skin. You know, me, I like, Pain. I know I'm talking a lot. Let's get this pain test out of the way because for the last 105 days I've been getting shot every single day until Mr. Beast notices me and invites me to a challenge So it's super important to me that I get to meet the guy It is on my bucket list and you guys can help me scratch that off my bucket list by subscribing to the channel and helping me reach 20,000 subscribers. Let's get on with the pain test. This is the splatter ball number one pain test Ugh. I should be wearing goggles Definitely stings more than Amazon's top five gel blasters and the Surge gel blaster. So if you guys are looking for a comparison, this definitely stings more than that. I'm gonna show you here what it looks like. We've got some red dots up in here, some red dots. I literally just got shot from maybe 10, maybe 20 feet away. After about like five, six seconds, the pain goes away, it stops stinging. And then and maybe you'll have a couple of little welts or maybe even a bruise the next day that goes away within the day. All right, I am now standing about 50 or 60 feet away from that fence. And if I can hit the fence pretty accurately from here, I already know that these shoot farther than the Amazon and the Surge Gel Blasters. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Oh yeah. I'm 60 feet away right now and I am literally accurately hitting a 4x4, four four, which is 4 inches wide by the way, from 60 feet away I'm hitting it. Very cool. Let's move back just a little bit more just to see how far this thing can go. Now my yard is about 100 feet wide, so right now we're sitting about 70 feet. Wow, wow, wow. This is super amazing. These things are shooting accurately from 70 feet away. I'm gonna go the max distance I can. I am now at the complete opposite side of my yard and we're gonna see how far this thing can shoot. Basically, if this thing can hit anything accurately from here, this is definitely the best gel blaster, the best bang for your buck to buy in America. Let's go ahead and find out. From 100 feet away, it is firing very accurately but it's barely reaching the fence. So I would say 100 feet is probably your max distance to shoot these things. Coming to you live from my backyard office, this is Splatterball number one, rating one through 10. Well, you saw the accuracy on this thing, guys. From 20 feet and 30 feet away, it is very accurate. Never missed a target one time. As far as the pain level, I gotta say, this thing stings more than Amazon's top gel blaster and the Surge gel blaster. As far as the distance for these gel blasters, it shoots 100 feet accurately. I mean, this thing is awesome. My favorite part about this gel blaster is that it has semi-automatic and automatic options, which is super duper really cool. The other cool thing about this is these buttstocks they come off, they're interchangeable, right? 
You can change this magazine with the other gun and that magazine with this gun, whatever you like. All the parts on these Splatterball blasters are interchangeable, so that is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this gel blaster a nine out of 10. Okay, the Splatterball gel blaster number two is the SRB 1200. Now this is only fully automatic. It does not have a semi-automatic option and it comes with a drum magazine. It even has an LED light on it. We're gonna test this one with a brand new target so that we can see the exact accuracy. I don't expect much of a difference. Oh, look at that. Wow, hold on. This is interesting, guys. This is interesting. It looks like these targets are reusable over and over again. So this is the target we used before. And this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like afterwards. So apparently these things can dry out and then you could reuse and reuse and reuse them. So I'm not gonna change the uh, target after all because that one is dried up and ready to go. There's actually no markings on there at all. This is the SRB 1200. And if you're wondering where it's got its name from, it's because this giant magazine right here can hold up to 1200 rounds in it. And this, is the SRB 1200 accuracy test. Compared to the first one, this one shoots very sporadic. Is it less painful? Maybe. We're gonna find out right now because I'm about to get shot by this gel blaster from 10 feet away. This is the SRB 1200 pain test. Let's go. Woo! I gotta say, I don't know if it's because it's just fully automatic that it felt a little more painful, or if it's because it's just more painful. That's basically what a gel blaster does to you. Compared to what a paintball gun or a airsoft gun does to you, this is nothing. All right, that was not too bad. Let's move back to 50 feet. Okay, okay, not too shabby. We're gonna move back to the full length of my yard, which is about 100 feet. I think that concludes our accuracy test for the SRB 1200, guys. The SRB 1200 is not as accurate as our first splatterball gun, but that is because I believe it only has a fully automatic option, which makes it fire more sporadically, more spread out. From 20 and 30 feet, you're definitely gonna hit your target, but you're gonna miss a few shots here and there. As far as the pain level goes, this thing felt like it hurt a little bit more than the first gel blaster. Last but not least, the distance of the gel blaster. As you can tell, the SRB 1200 couldn't quite make it to the fence from 100 feet away. Now, it was shooting pretty accurately, but it wasn't shooting the same distance as the first gel blaster. Keep in mind guys, both of these batteries were charged fully before I installed them into the blaster and started testing them. As far as looks go, this is a better looking blaster than the first one. Overall, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one the same rating, a nine out of 10. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna give both gel blasters a 10 out of 10 because of the simple fact that they're better than any other gel blaster that I've tested. So that should make them a 10, correct? They feel like they're built strong. I'm pretty confident that if I dropped one of these gel blasters, I could pick it up and keep using it. This one holds 400 rounds. This one holds 1200 rounds. These are both very good choices to buy when it comes to gel blasters in America. That's it for the Splatterball Blaster review. I hope you guys watch this video and this video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.